good day. I'm now in Nevada City downtown. You can see my iPad in the background. Isn't that neat? Isn't that a trip? And uh, yeah, after a great swim in the Yuba River, I've been reading my book, got some ice cream, and now Jared is getting his dinner ready in the van, and I'm gonna read, maybe watch a movie. But yeah, definitely done with being in public and not having my own space. I'm really excited to create sanctuary for myself because I'm so sensitive to energies and people that it's so essential. So I'm thankful for all the challenges and growth that have come from van life, but I'm ready for the next chapter. And in the next couple of days, it's gonna be revealing what it is. So stay tuned. deliberation I've decided to go back to Canada and it's gonna be a long travel journey so I may blend this next couple of days into a one big vlog because uh, it's gonna be pretty chaotic with taking different modes of transportation to go all the way back to my home but yeah it's been an amazing journey I'm so thankful and all the challenges too thankful so yeah a lot to reflect on and integrate moving forward. settled in at my friend Shanti's. I'm in a really beautiful little stoop area by a window where I've set up a little bed, a little nest. And yeah, I finally landed in Pueblo. I'm so grateful and I'm learning to trust the perfect flow of everything, the divine design, the divine timing, all at play here. And even if I don't think I know why I am a certain place, my soul knows. And I feel like especially with these eclipses, a lot of us are being catapulted into changes where our minds are like, what the? But our souls are like, I know where this is going and it's gonna be good. It's gonna be worth it. So I'll leave you with that. Good night. I will. I look forward to sharing the magic and beauty of life with you tomorrow.